G'day, my name is Greg, I'm an Australian CNC hobbyist and quite recently I made a video about these chess pieces that I made on the CNC rotary axis. Now in that video I concentrated on what I thought to be the more challenging piece which was the knight and if you're interested in seeing that I'll put a link in the video description below and you can take a look at it. Now uh, here's the models that I downloaded from a, a 3D model site. They're primarily designed to be uh, 3D printed however with a couple of alterations I made them into something suitable that I could machine on the rotary axis. In this video I'm going to uh, concentrate on the rook or the castle um, and here's the 3D model of that. Um, what I did was in a 3D modeling program I blanked off the top. I got rid of the castellations on the top and just made it a blank top just for the purposes of machining. And then of course I set it up in the uh, rotary axis and ran a roughing toolpath with a 6mm ball nose bit and then moved on to a finished toolpath with a 1.6mm ball nose bit. After that was done I then removed the chuck and set it up vertically on the table with the piece still in it and uh, one of the reasons or no one of the things I'm very glad I did when I um, made my rotary axis was I made the spindle to take the chucks out of my wood lathe and uh, it has proved very handy in a lot of ways and this is just the wood lathe chuck mounted with the piece vertically on the table. I then went ahead and used a 3D probe um, to find the XY origin on the top of the, uh, the castle. Uh, now you certainly don't need a 3D probe to do this, I'm sure you could just about do it pretty accurately by eye, but I've got this 3D probe and uh, I quite enjoy using it, so that was what I did. Um, then I moved on uh, with a 3mm ball nose bit and machined out the centre of the, um, the battlements or castellations or whatever you call them on top of the on top of the rook and then moved on and did the the slots or the the castellations around the top with the same three millimeter ball nose bit and then uh, I transferred the chuck and all to the wood lathe and gave it a bit of a sand and parted it off and here it is um, I think it sort of came out okay Um, and here's the pieces, uh, a few of the pieces with a coat of clear on them. Um, I think they, they came out and looked pretty good. And uh, then all the pieces set up on the, uh, on the board. Um, I'm kind of hoping my grandchildren will enjoy playing with them. And uh, again, if you're interested in seeing the, uh, the other video about the night, uh, the link will be in the description. And uh, thank you very much for watching.